Stapleton missing it. And Arboy missing it as well. Here's the big moment of the first half when Cephas just darts away from his rivals. Amal Knight only partially stops it. And Marlon Allen, the youngster, right on spot to finish. 1-0 to Arnett Gans after 30 minutes. But the pace and the speed of Cephas undeniably here. Rand Wellington can't keep pace with the Arnett number 7. And it's Marlon Allen that celebrates with his coach Paul Teagan Davis. Cephas having an opportunity here, cuts the ball onto the left, but by then the Harborview defenders had positioned themselves. Before the half-time break, Kasim Priestley would drive one from only almost 40 yards. And Eric Edwards scrambling across his goal. Guthrie played well tonight, first pass. Shandy James, now our boy. Slides the ball past Amal Knight. But that first pass from Guthrie turned by Allen, then Shandy James. Finishing very well there for his fifth goal of the season. All right, we're in charge here now. By two goals to nil. Before he celebrates, here comes Cephas again. All right, keeping the pressure on. Fabian Reed. Just moments after it come on as a substitute, coming on to the end of this cross from Jamar Neal, heading past Amal Knight for goal number three. And away for Paco Blacks, that's what they call him, Fabian Reed to enter the field of play. Half of you would have had their moments. Oh, coming right across goals, Tate here having an opportunity to crack a goal, five goals already this season for him. He didn't get that one on target. Half of you with Lewis a substitute with a left footed strike to the near post. And Eric Edwards solid in goal for Arnett Garns right there. Red card to Cunningham for a slam to the face. And uh, that's how this one ends.